Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom and for today's video we're going to be seeing a live raid battle using two of the 2013 World Championship decks. The first deck is a Team Plasma deck used by Yugo Sato, the Junior Division finalist of that year. And the second deck is going to be the Rayquaza Electric deck, used by the Senior Division finalist Clement Lamberton. And the raid boss is going to be Mega Mawile EX from the 6th generation. So we'll see which of these two sites can take the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the raid battle. And here we go, the battle has started with all sides flipping over their starting Pokemon. On the Team Plasma side we've got Kyurem as the active Pokemon, and on the Rayquaza side we've got Caldeo EX as the active Pokemon, both of them going up against Mega Mawile EX as the raid boss. Okay, the Team Plasma side is going first, playing their Stadium Verbank City Gym, followed by the item Hypnotoxic Laser automatically poisoning the Mega Mawile, and with the Verbank City Gym it is going to be dealing 30 damage between turns instead of the usual 10. Okay, the next card played is going to be the support of Professor Juniper, letting the player discard their entire hand to then draw seven brand new cards. So let's see what they can get off this brand new hand. Hopefully some more Pokemon coming down or an energy attachment to start attacking as soon as possible. Yeah, here we see the water energy coming down into the active QRM, followed by the item Coal Rest Machine, letting the player search their deck for a Plasma energy to attach to any other Team Plasma Pokemon. So we're probably going to be seeing this active Kyurem attack starting this turn. Yeah, there's the energy attachment coming to the active Pokemon. Now, so for anyone who doesn't know, in the raid format, both players get to take their turn first. They can play their supporter on the first turn and evolve their Pokemon on the first turn. And also they're able to attack on the first turn. Okay, so the turn passes over to the Rayquaza side. We see a Flowstone attached to the active Keldeo, followed by another Professor Juniper. So now this side also dumps their hand to draw seven brand new cards. Let's see what they can do for their first turn. Okay, the first item is going to be a level ball, letting them search their deck for any Pokemon with 90 HP or less. So we see the first Electric coming down, evolving the benched Tynamo right away. The Electric is the main energy accelerator in this deck, letting the player recycle discarded lightning energies every turn. Okay, we see another Keldeo coming down onto the bench, and Electric activates his ability Dynamotor, getting back a discarded lightning energy to attach to the benched Keldeo, and the manual attachment from the hand is also going to be a lightning energy to the benched Keldeo. Okay, and there's the attack declared by the Q-Rem. It's going to be Frost Spear hitting for 30 damage, plus another 30 damage between turns because of the poison. Okay, now the turn passes over to the raid boss's side. They're going to be able to draw three cards. The first one is going to be a potion to heal for 30 damage. The next one is a giant bomb, followed by er, a fairy energy. All of them resolving right away. Okay, turn passes back over to the raid team side. On the team plasma side, uh, Deoxys is put to the bench, followed by a supporter N, letting the player shuffle their hand away to then draw six brand new cards. One card for every one of their prizes remaining. Now, this N only works. For the Team Plasma side, the supporters don't affect um, each other, as in the players, unless the the active player decides they want to use it on their teammate. Okay, the next card is going to be a Team Plasma Ball, searching the deck for another Deoxys to put into the bench. Deoxys comes with the ability called Power Connect, increasing the attack power of all Team Plasma Pokemon by 10 per Deoxys. So now Kyurem can hit for 50 damage with its first attack. Turn passes back over to the Rayquaza site. A third lightning energy comes to the benched Keldeo, which now is promoted to the active spot, and now both attacks are declared. QRM once again hitting with Frost Spear, this time hitting for 50 damage, and Keldeo using its Sacred Sword attack for 50 damage as well. Okay, over to the raid boss's side. The new item is going to be a Muscle Band attached to Mawile right away, followed by another potion, healing it for 30 damage, and a second Fairy Energy. So Mawile's already got two energy. It just needs one more to start using its Twin Grapple attack. So here we see it burning away some of its cards. I didn't explain this earlier, but the way you win against the raid boss is by sending all cards from its deck to the Lost Zone. And the way you do that is by dealing as much damage as you can, and for every 20 damage that is dealt to Mawile, 
one card from the deck is sent to the Lost Zone. And then that damage is healed off. Okay, so the turn passes back over to the Team Plasma side. We see another energy coming down to the benched QRM, followed by a, a third Deoxys. The Rayquaza side looks like they played nothing, and both attacks were declared. Another Frost Spear and another Secret Sword hitting for 110 damage. The Raid Boss equips another Pokemon tool. The Healing Scarf, followed by the supporter Cyrus's Initiative. And it flips... Oh, it flips two coins! Sorry, it flips two tails! And it does nothing! Okay, here we see another potion coming in, healing another 30 damage. Okay, so no energy was attached to uh, Mawile this turn, so it's not going to be able to use its Twin Grapple attack. Here we see the energy being burned away. Sorry, not the energy, the, the deck being burned away. And now turn passes back over to the Raid Team side. We see the third energy coming down into the QRM, so it's going to be able to start using its Blizzard Burn attack. And a fourth Deoxys comes down to the bench, increasing the attack power of this QRM by 40. That is a huge power boost. Okay, over to the Rayquaza side, they play their Supporter N to shuffle their hand away, and then drawing six brand new cards. There's the cards being drawn. Hopefully they get some better cards this time around, as they didn't play anything last turn. They're going to need to bench some more Electric and Rayquaza, as it is going to be the main attacker. Oh, it looks like they got nothing! They're going to be playing their second end for the turn. Now, normally, a player can only play one Supporter per turn, but in the Raid format, both, uh, both players have access to um, both supporters, meaning that if one player wants to use both supporters for their side, they can do so, leaving their their teammate with none to use. But since the Team Plasma side didn't play any supporters, their Equasis side got to play too. It looks like they did get a better hand this time, as they benched two Tynamo, and there's the attack, so Qrem attacked with Blizzard Burn, and Keldeo attacked with Secret Sword. Okay, it's the Mawile's turn. There's the three cards drawn. A Leon increasing its attack power by 30 for the turn. A Team Yell Towel healing 50 damage off itself. And the third one is going to be the third Fairy Energy. So now it's finally going to be able to start using its Twin Grapple attack. And with the Leon powering it up, it's going to be hitting for 160 damage. More than enough to take a KO on Qrem. And just 10 damage short from knocking out the Keldeo. But both of the coin flips for the Twin Grapple came up heads, so it does get to discard two energy from Keldeo. Okay, the Team Plasma side took one of their prizes as one of their Pokémon was knocked out. And here we see all the damage being healed off and burning a couple more cards off the Raid Boss's deck. So, so far, the Raid team is doing great. Okay, there's all three energy being discarded as they were used for the Twin Grapple attack. And turn passes back over to the Raid Team side. Alright, let's see what the Team Plasma side can do. So they're going to be using Ultra Ball to discard two cards from their hand to then search the deck for any Pokemon. And the one chosen is going to be Thunderous EX coming straight onto the bench. Thunderous comes with the right and knuckle attack. It only needs one Lightning Energy to hit for 30 damage. And it also lets it uh, pick up any discarded energy to attach to any other benched uh, Team Plasma teammates. On the Rayquaza side, one of the Tynamo evolves into Electric, and then they play the Level Ball to search the deck for the third Electric, so now they've got three on the bench to accelerate Lightning Energy. Now all they need is a Rayquaza to come down. They're going to be playing their Supporter Cold Rest to shuffle their hand away, and draw one card for every Pokémon on their bench. So it's four cards off the top of the deck. Normally Cold Rest works for a number of uh, bench Pokémon on your side and on the opponent's side, but the Mawile doesn't have any bench Pokemon, so you can only get four off this one. So let's see if they got the Rayquaza. No, it looks like no Rayquaza came down. The benched Keldeo activates his ability Rush In to switch into the active spot. And now it looks like some of the Electric are going to be using their abilities. Yeah, two Electric activate their Dynamo abilities, getting two discarded Lightning Energies back onto the damaged Keldeo, which then uses its own Rush In ability to move itself back into the active spot, ready to attack. Okay, there's both attacks declared. Kyurem uses Frost Spear, and Keldeo hits with Secret Sword. That's 120 damage coming through, and now it's the Raid Boss's side. There's an Energy, and the Healing Scarf heals 20 damage every time an Energy is attached, so that is 40 damage healed this turn. 
Okay, they're not going to be able to attack, as they still need one more energy. So that's the end of their turn. They heal all the damage away and burn four more cards off the top of their deck. Turn passes back over to the Team Plasma side. They attach a Float Stone to the active cure. I'm giving it a free retreat cost. So it's going to be retreating now, promoting the Thunderous as a new active Pokemon to use its right in Knuckle attack. Okay, it's going to be over to the Rayquaza side now. Using Ultra Ball to discard a Lightning Energy and a Level Ball to then search the deck for any Pokemon to add to their hand. And we finally see Rayquaza coming into play. All right. Rayquaza needs one Fire and one Lightning Energy to use its Dragon Burst attack. Luckily, they're able to accelerate um, a pretty good amount of Lightning Energy every turn with the Electric. They just need to have the, the Fire Energy in hand. Okay, so we see one of the Electric using Dynamotor. So, okay. There's the Lightning Energy from the Electric and a Fire Energy coming from the hand. So now Rayquaza is powered up and ready to go, but it's not opting to attack just yet. So both attacks came through, Raiden right Knuckle and Sacred Sword. Raiden right Knuckle, like I said earlier, is able to attach a discarded energy to one of the Team Plasma Pokemon on their side. So Water Energy comes onto the benched Qren. So now it's going to be able to use its Blizzard Burn attack if it ever comes back into the active spot. Over to the Mawile side, the first card drawn is Cook to heal 70 damage off itself, followed by a Fairy Energy. Okay, so now it's got enough energy on it to start attacking. And then the final card is going to be an Energy Lotto. Now they can look at the top seven cards of their deck and choose any one energy found there to add to their hand. So there's the Fairy Energy, which is attached right away. And once again, the Healing Scarf heals another 20 damage. So now the Small Wild is down to just 10 damage on it. And like that, Small Wild's had a really good turn, healing most of the damage off itself, and it's able to attack with Twin Grapple Attack. Okay, so one of the coins comes up ahead, so Thunderous has to discard its Lightning Energy, and Keldeo is KO'd. And now the Rayquaza player has to take two prizes, as one of their EX Pokemon was knocked out. The three energy off Mawile are discarded, and turn passes over to the Raid Team side. Okay, let's start off with the Team Plasma side, let's see what they can do for the turn. They're starting off by using Professor Juniper to discard their hand, to draw seven brand new cards. Let's see if they're going to opt to leave the Thunderous in the active spot, or just give it an energy to deal as much damage as possible before it gets knocked out. But before the attack is declared, Hypnotoxic Laser is played to once again poison the Mawile. And with the Verbank City Gym, it is going to be taking 30 damage between turns. A Lightning Energy was attached to Thunderous and turn passes over to the Rayquaza side. Now all three Electric are going to be using their Dynamotors to accelerate all three discarded Lightning Energies onto Rayquaza. Okay, we're going to be seeing a really powerful Dragon Burst attack coming through this turn. Finally, Rayquaza gets his turn to shine. Keldeo gets to retreat for free with its Flowstone, promoting the Rayquaza, and we're finally going to see the attack. Okay, there's both attacks declared. Right and Knuckle coming in from Thunderous, and Dragon Burst coming from Rayquaza. Dragon Burst discards all its Lightning Energy and hitting for 60 damage times the number of energy discarded. So that's four Lightning Energies for a grand total of 240 damage. Yeah, they did a ton of damage this turn. Plus 30 more for the Poison coming from the Hypnotoxic Laser. Okay, now it's the Raid Boss's turn. First card is going to be a Rocky Helmet. Replacing the Healing Scarf. Next card is going to be Aroma Lady. Okay, they get to draw two more cards. And the next card is going to be a How to draw three more cards. <laughs> okay, the next one's going to be a Hyper Potion that they don't get to use because they need at least two energy to use a Hyper Potion. Next one's going to be a Crushing Hammer. It rolls heads. So now both players have to discard an energy from one of their Pokemon. So Rayquaza and Thunderous lose an energy each. The third card for How is going to be a Berry to draw three more cards. <laughs> So many cards being drawn. Okay, the next one's going to be a Collapse Stadium to replace the Verbank City Gym. And now both players can only have four benched Pokemon, so the Team Plasma side has to discard one of the Oxus. Next card was a Fairy Energy. And the next card after that is Energy Search to get the third energy from the deck, so Mawile can attack this turn with all three of its energy. That's a lot of cards being resolved this turn. Okay, so all three for how were resolved. A second one for... 
the Aroma Lady gives Mawile a fourth energy for the turn. More than enough to start attacking. It looks like that was all the cards for the Mawile side, so here's the attacker Claire Twin Grapple discarding three energy, hitting for 130 damage, so Thunderous is knocked out. And Mawile doesn't have to flip any coins this turn, as Rayquaza doesn't have any energy to discard. Okay, so the Team Plasma side has to take two more prizes for one of their EX Pokémon being knocked out. Now Mawile has to heal itself, but also burn away a ton of its deck because of all the damage that it took. Um, honestly, I didn't really keep track of how much damage that was, I just know that it was a lot. So they're going to be discarding cards for a while. Uh, so in the meantime, I just wanted to take this opportunity to let you guys know to please uh, leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. Uh, let me know what you thought about it, and if you enjoy watching these raid battles. Okay, uh, looks like that was all the cards burned off the top of the deck, so I imagine that's already more than half. So the raid team is in a pretty good spot in this game. A few turn passes back over to the Team Plasma side, they bench another Thunderous EX and give it a Prism Energy, followed by the Stadium Verbank City Gym to replace a Collapsed Stadium, and another Hypnotoxic Laser to once again poison Mawile. Also, if anybody's wondering why there's no coin flip for putting Mawile to sleep, a raid boss Pokémon cannot be put to sleep or paralyzed, as their attacks cannot be stopped and they cannot be blocked. So there's no point in trying to put it to sleep. But it does take poison damage, though poison only lasts for one turn, which is why it's been healing um, immediately after taking the poison damage. Okay, so Keldeo was powered up on the Rayquaza side. It looks like Rayquaza doesn't have any more fire energy to use its Dragon Burst attack, so Keldeo is an attacker once again. And there's both attacks declared. Kyurem hitting with Blizzard Burn, and Keldeo with Sacred Sword. Looks like that was a total of 240 damage coming from both Pokémon. And the Rocky Helmet also activates on the Mawile, hitting both Keldeo and Kyurem for 20 damage each. Okay, over to the Raid Boss's side. Next card is going to be a Giant Bomb to replace a Rocky Helmet. A Fairy Energy and another Fairy Energy! Okay, so Mawile is going to be able to use its Twin Grapple attack this turn. There's the attack declared. Twin Grapple, so Kyurem is knocked out. Keldeo is going to take 130 damage, but it doesn't have to discard any energy this turn as both of the coin flips came up tails. There's all the damage being healed off of Mega Mawile, so it looks like that's going to be a total of 12 cards being sent to the Lost Zone. Yeah, the raid boss is not doing too good this battle, losing a lot of its deck. Okay, let's see what the raid team can do. Oh yeah, there's all the damage coming down onto the Keldeo. Okay, turn passes back over to the Team Plasma side. Let's see what they can do for their turn. Starting off with the Team Plasma Ball to search the deck for any Team Plasma Pokémon to add to their hand. I don't know if they have any left. They've already played, I think, three QRM, all four of their Deoxys, and two Thunderous. Yeah, that was a failed search. There's got to be no more Pokémon left in the deck. Oh, it looks like they finally took their prize from Kyurem being knocked out. Looks like they forgot to take it earlier. It's alright. Okay, over to the Rayquaza side. A second Rayquaza comes down with a Fire Energy. One of the Electric activates its Dynamotor ability to attach a discarded Lightning Energy onto the new Rayquaza. So they're just getting the new Pokémon ready to attack on the following turn. Okay, both a Pokémon attack. Thunderous with Raiden Knuckle and Keldeo with Sacred Sword. Both of them hitting for a total of 110 damage. And now Thunderous' attack can also attach a Prism Energy to one of the benched Deoxys. So it looks like they're powering up Deoxys just in case it has to come up into the attacking spot. The Giant Bomb is discarded as it did nothing. And now the cards are going to be drawn for the Raid Boss's side. The first one's going to be a Team Yell Towel healing both Mawile and Keldeo for 50 damage each. And the next two cards are going to be Fairy Energies. So Mawile just needs one more card to start attacking. It ends its turn, healing the damage off itself and burning a couple more cards off the top of its deck. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like the Raid Boss has many cards left in their deck. Okay, the Team Plasma side did nothing. Let's see what the Rayquaza side is going to do. Also nothing, so no cards were played by either side. 
Going straight for the attacks. Right in Knuckle and Sacred Sword. Thunder is once again accelerating a discarded energy to one of the benched Deoxys. Yeah, here we see a Team Plasma energy attached to the Deoxys with the Prism energy already attached to it. Turn passes back over to the Mega Mawile side. Here we see the first card. It is going to be a Fairy energy, followed by Giant Bomb once again. Oh, no. Giant Bomb <laughs> is immediately replaced with Rocky Helmet. Okay. All right, there's the attack declared. Twin Grapple hitting Thunderous for 130 damage and taking a KO on Keldeo, so the Rayquaza side takes two more prizes. So once the raid team takes all their prizes, that's how they lose the game. So in this format, you don't want to take prizes. The Twin Grapple attack did discard the Prism energy from the Thunderous. And on the Rayquaza side, Rayquaza comes up active as a new Pokémon. Okay, some more cards are burned off the Mawile side. I don't think they have much left. They're shuffling their discard pile back into the deck, and it looks like they only have like two or three cards left in deck. Might not even be enough to declare any more attacks, so it looks pretty clear like the Ray team is going to win. We just got to make it official. Alright, so a switch is played for the Team Plasma side. Getting the Thunderous out of the active spot to promote Deoxys to use its attack Helix Force. And on the Rayquaza side, let's see what they can do. Okay, a Float Stone is given to the active Rayquaza to give it a free retreat. A manual attachment is going to be a Lightning Energy onto the Bench Rayquaza, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see all three Electric activate their abilities. Yeah, there's all three of the ability markers placed on the Electric, and three Lightning Energy coming down onto Rayquaza. So it's going to be five Lightning Energy onto Rayquaza EX. It's going to be a huge attack. Okay, so the active one is retreating to promote the benched one. That is a scary Rayquaza. <laughs> yeah, there's both attacks declared. Deox is hitting with Helix Force. And Rayquaza with Dragon Burst, discarding five Lightning Energies to hit for 300 damage. Okay, yeah, that's a ton of damage onto Mega Mawile. Both Deoxys and Rayquaza take uh, recoil damage from the Rocky Helmet, and now it's the Raid boss's turn. So if it gets three energy to attack, it'll be able to... Oh, actually, no, that was the last card drawn. It was not an energy, it's a giant bomb. So yeah, just forget what I said earlier. Ray Mega Mawile doesn't have any more energies to declare any more attacks, so it automatically loses. So it looks like the Ray team is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.